Namaste. Hello, I'm Sianna Sherman, and this is a short story of Lakshmi from Mythic Yoga Flow. So Lakshmi is is the the great energy, the Shakti of abundance, of love, of prosperity, um, meaning worldly prosperity, but also prosperity of heart, prosperity of our heart vision, our dreams, the things that make us um, come to life. Lakshmi is really the, the, the birth of our deepest soul's beauty. And one of her names is, or an epithet that's used to describe her is Bhukti Mukti Pradayani. And what this means is Bhukti is worldly fulfillment. Mukti means spiritual liberation. And Pradayani, the one who confers or gives these blessings. So Lakshmi is that, that essential understanding in the tantric tradition that we are matter and spirit coexisting in this embodied form, that we are spirit embodied, and both worldly fulfillment and spiritual liberation happen together. One does not need to um, be separated from the other in order to be experienced. It is eminence and transcendence together in this embodied form. Lakshmi comes into existence through a long, beautiful story called the churning of the ocean. And you want to think of this as the churning of the ocean of one's own heart. And there's, there's a long story of how this great churning happens, but to come straight to the point is that the, the gods and the demons are told that they must churn this ocean together in order to get what they want, which they think is the immortal elixir. They're in a fight for the Amrita, for the immortal elixir, which is somewhere down at the bottom of the ocean in the great celestial vessel of the physician Devantri. So they're all going for this. Vishnu says to all of them, he says, look, you're going to have to become friends in this endeavor. The parts of yourself that you like and the parts of yourself that you're in a battle with and bring everyone together for this endeavor. Gather the herbs from the four corners of the world, all come together in a team spirit, and together you will begin churning the great ocean of milk. And out of that churning of the ocean of milk, many gifts will rise. And one of them will be this elixir that you are looking for. Now as they churn the ocean, so many things happen, um, very famous stories, from this one story, there's a poison, a very noxious poison that comes up out of the depths and no one knows what to do with it. And so it is Lord Shiva, the Lord of Yoga, who comes and swallows the poison and then holds it in his throat where it turns um, a deep dark blue and he transforms the poison into mantra and it becomes the, the, the power of the practice of mantra to really transform the deepest poisons of the mind um, that happen in all of us. And then other gifts are starting to emerge. There's the wish-fulfilling tree, the wish-fulfilling cow, sapphire gems, um, all sorts of celestial you know, nymphs are born out of this great ocean. Many, many gifts. And the, the gods and the demons are churning and they're looking only for one. Now, as this goes on, it's tens of thousands of years or so, what starts to happen is there's this bubbling up from the bottom of the ocean. And as it starts to grow, the ripples start to grow at the surface of the ocean. This gorgeous lotus lifts up out of the depths of the ocean. And seated upon it is the most radiant form of Shakti, of Devi, anyone has ever laid eyes upon. And of course, she is Lakshmi the mother of love itself. She's born in this lotus. There's humming bees humming all about her because they are the humming of the seed syllables of mantra itself. She has two elephants pouring Ganges holy water over her. Um, she's bedecked from the ocean and a garland of never fading lotus flowers. You know, it's very resplendent. And as she rises, this is the part of the story that I'm most interested in today, 
is that this is the rising of our soul's beauty. Oftentimes, when we do the practices or we're engaging in life, we think, I want this. We have a certain thing that we want, or I want to appear a certain way. And we, get, we can get stuck in that one track or even at the surface of things. But Lakshmi, the Shakti of the heart and of love, has to be born from the depths. And so this is what happens in the practices of yoga, is that the yoga takes us to our depths to the, the deepest refinement of the self, the deepest churning of the self, and out of that churning comes our own beauty. And we start to see our beauty and live our lives with this kind of beauty. So it is the deep soul beauty that emerges from the churning of the heart through these practices that is really the Lakshmi essence, the Lakshmi energy. I want to thank you for practicing yoga Namaste.